Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And if you guys remember not too long ago, I made a video about the 3GPP announcing the official standard for 5G. And now AT&T has came forward and said that they will roll out the next generation 5G mobile internet to its customers this year. Now, this is supposed to take place in dozens of markets. Now, they haven't officially announced which markets are getting these. My guess is in those markets that I believe it was also around a dozen markets that got the 5G evolution upgrades. I think those are the markets where they're going to push out the 5G technology. Now, those markets, the 5G evolution ones, which, you know, pretty much is just LTE advanced. They should have gotten the upgrades to 4x4 MIMO, 256 QAMs, and uh, a good amount of densification with small cells and more macro sites. Now, they were being very um, discreet. They kind of just threw the comment out there. They didn't say what cell phone is going to support the technology that they're going to release. Um, I've been reading comments on other carriers such as T-Mobile and Verizon that are aggressive about 5G. They say a device that supports 5G technology won't come out until maybe the first or second half of 2019. So maybe AT&T has some type of agreement with Qualcomm that's going to allow them to push out a device a lot sooner. Um, definitely interesting news from AT&T that they are vocal about this. And um, I hope I will find out more information in, in the coming weeks to see if there is a device in the works for AT&T that supports the 5G, 5G technology. I know Qualcomm already has a device that they're working with to test a new modem that's going to support the all that technology and stuff like that. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. Lots more content coming. A um, lot, of, lot of things happening right now. Um, I'm tracking AT&T just sold their 600 megahertz. Every single uh, uh, bit that they bought, they they sold it so i'm tracking that right now i'll probably make a video on that later on giving you guys an update on that they are um moving forward with the first net they were able to get pretty much the entire united states covered with that spectrum so they didn't need that 600 but that kind of you know hurt t-mobile a bit on gaining more spectrum in certain markets so Definitely lots of activity happening in the uh, wireless market, so stay tuned. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.